Good evening and welcome to Los Angeles for Game 5 of the ALDS between the Angels and the Yankees. With the winner here tonight moving on to face the White Sox in the championship series. Now we're joined by the Yankees GM Arce Villain. And Arce, you couldn't clinch the series at home in Game 4. What is your team lineup here for Game 5? You better be just as crap today as you were for me at the Rockies, Otani. Uh, yeah, just the one change for us today. Uh, Luke Voigt drops out, and it's going to be uh, Castellanus coming in to replace him um, as designated hitter. And, of course, it's Blake Snell on the mound for us tonight. Now, he won here in Game 1, of course, so we're hoping that history repeats itself. Ah, uh, f*** off, Otani. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to episode 12 at the New York Yankees on American Heroes as we look to win the World Series with the Yankees using only American players. And today it is game five of the ALDS against the Angels. We are in LA and uh, well, all of baseball is just waiting on us to uh, to decide our series here. We've gone the distance and well, it's uh, it's Otani. It was gonna, always going to be Otani, wasn't it? I really, really have a dislike for him, and it's purely based on this game. Uh, nothing to do with the man in real life. Uh, but uh, this is everybody's stats and numbers for the series so far. Um, you can see the DJ has been brilliant for us, as has uh, Aaron Judge. Everybody else has been a little bit hit and miss. Um, as for them, yeah, I mean, Walsh, Upton... Pujols, Rendon, Trout, or maybe not so much Trout, but there's a lot of guys for them that are having good seasons, or good series, I should say. Uh, Snell won game one, of course. He gave us a lead at, uh, in LA. It was 7-4 to four on that occasion. Let's check the lineups for game five and hope that we get a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of case of history repeating itself. So this is it, our lineup. It could be the last game of the season. The DJ leads us off at third base. Corey Sager, we need him to start batting. He bats uh, second at shortstop. Castellanus, the new man, he's uh, batting three designated hitter. Aaron Judge moves up the order to four in right field. My boy Blue, Petey Alonso, drops down one to bat five at first base. Talkman bats six in center field. Stanton in left field bats seven. Alamas keeps his place in the team, plays second base and bats eight. It is Andrew Knapp, the catcher, batting nine. Snell on the mound for us. We're up against... Otani, he was, again, I cannot stress this enough, how bad he was for us at the Rockies. And, uh, well, we're up against him today, and he better not be the one that sinks us. He, look at that, ERA of 303. I think that was his innings ERA at the, at, the, uh, at the Rockies, wasn't it? Unbelievable. All right, but here we are in LA. It is game five. It is the DJ at the plate batting 412 so far in the postseason. He's going to face Otani. And, well, this is season on the line stuff for both teams. It's very exciting. Obviously, everyone loves a deciding game, don't they? And Otani has given up a hit to start us off as the DJ takes the first pitch into right field. And it's a leadoff single. Corey Sager batting 1 for 15 so far in the postseason. And at least, is that going to be a double play? No, at least it's not a double play. Well, you're on base, Sega. That's a start, I suppose. Castellanus, the new man, first at bat of the postseason, and he hits into a double. I give up. I just give up. And that ends the top of the first. Blake Snell will face Marsh. He's batting 235 so far this postseason. It's a full count on the leadoff man. And let's see if the Snellmeister can get us underway with a strikeout. Yes, he can. Wonderful stuff. One away. Mike Trout comes in now, batting 267. He grounds it to Sega over to first, and that is two away for Rendon, who is batting 357. He has hit a home run at least one that I can remember, but he strikes out there, and we end the first. They are hitless. We are both scoreless, and it is the judge to lead us off, batting 333 in the postseason. He's on a hot streak. It's an 0-2 pitch, and it's a strikeout as well. My boy Blue only in the lineup ahead of Voigt because he's Blue, to be honest, because he's Pete Alonso. It's a 1-2 pitch, and Alonso strikes out again. He's, gonna, he's got to come good at some point, doesn't he? And Talkman, one of the better bats this regular season. He's one, batting 154 in the postseason. He grounds it into a shift, and that'll do it for the top of the second. And our bats have just they've fallen asleep, and we can't wake them up. Upton comes in to bat for them. Designated hitter. He's one for two in the postseason, so that batting average of 500 is a little bit misleading. Uh, it's, it's well, it's 7.50 now, isn't it? As he, no, it would be 6.66, uh, six, six, wouldn't it? 6.67 six, even. 
He gets a lead-off single. In comes Walsh, who is three for four in the postseason. See, they make changes and it works. Why doesn't it work for me, Castellanus? How can we get him at third? Judge's throw is not in time. And with no one out, it's runners at the corners. And this is problems as Stasi comes in, batting 182 in the postseason. Snell, 2-2 pitch. That's popped up. I don't think Aaron Judge is going to be able to prevent this run coming in. And that is going to mean we fall behind in this must-win game five. One away, runner still at first, Fisher to the plate, batting 154, a 1-2 pitch. There's a strikeout for two away. And David Fletcher comes in, batting 214. It's a 2-1 pitch, two out, one on. That is well hit, but Judge is there. So in the end, we get away with just giving up the one run, which could have been a lot worse. Stanton will lead us off, batting 1-11 for 11 in the postseason. I mean, I say again, that one was a grand slam, and he draws a walk to get us underway in the top of the third. Steven Alamas batting 250, which is more than I was expecting of him. He's hit that really well. Now, Stanton is not the quickest. Alamas, though, has he tied the game? It is Stanton coming home. It is Alamas going to third. It's an RBI triple for what is essentially a useless Alamas, but he's tied the game. And with no one out, we have a runner at third for Knapp, who's batting 231, a 2-2 pitch. He watches strike three. Back to the top of the order. And can the DJ drive in a run for us? One for two today. He can. An RBI single for Lamahue. And we have taken the lead in the third. All right. Corey Sager, who is 0 for 1 today. A 2-2 pitch. Corey Sager pops it up. Castellanus will come into bat next. Hit into a double play last time up. Just, oh, don't strike out. He does. Oh, nothing I do works. But we do have the lead, so it's not going too badly for us. And Snell will face Inglacius to get the bottom of the third underway. He's batting 235 so far in the postseason. A little bit less than that now as Snell strikes him out. Marsh, 0 for 1, comes back up. An 0-2 pitch. Snell strikes out another one. Excellent stuff. Trout now, who's 0 for 1. Another 1-2 pitch. And Snell strikes out the side. Blake Snell could be the man that gets us through here, couldn't he? Aaron Judge will lead us off against Otani. Judge is 0 for 1. It's an 0-2 pitch. As expected, it's a strikeout. Chalk up another strikeout now as Alonso comes up to bat. A 2-2 pitch. He gets hit. Well, we'll take that. That's a bonus. And it brings Talkman up, who's 0 for 1. 2 for 14 in the postseason. Talkman. Oh, it's 3 for 15 now. He gets a ball into uh, right field, and it's going to be a double. My boy Blue goes over there to third. One out. Runners at second and third. And suddenly, this is another really... Talkman's injured. And we've had to take him out of the game. Hicks will come in. Maybe that'll be a blessing in disguise. Stanton, who walked last time up. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Stanton has hit that really well. And that is going to skip its way to the fence. And it's going to be a 2-RBI double for Stanton. It's 4-1 to the Yankees. And maybe the bats have woken up a little bit. It brings Alamas into bat now, and that does it for Otani. See you later, mate. You are a moron. And Barrier comes in to face Alamas. It's going to be a first pitch swing. I'm assuming Stanton's not going to try and steal third. Alamas grounds it to shortstop. That's more <laughs> what we expect from him. That's going to be two away now. So Nate with a runner at second with a chance here. He has a first pitch swing. Politely ends the innings. But we have doubled the lead. It is 4-1 now. Snell will face Rendon to get the bottom of the fourth underway. Rendon is 0 for 1 today. Rendon grounds it to Sega, and that is the end of him. One away. It brings up Upton, who is 1 for 1 today. A 1-2 pitch. There's a strikeout for Snell. Seven of them now he's got. It brings Walsh in, who's 1 for 1 as well. A full count. And a walk. Oh, that looked close, didn't it? Stassi comes in. He walked last time up. Or did he sack fly? He sack fly, didn't he? He's lined that straight to third base, though. Lemahieu makes the catch, and that ends the fourth, and we are 4-1 up. The DJ will lead us off. He's 2-for-2 two two today. A 2-2 two -two pitch, and Lemahieu strikes out. One away for Corey Sager. Corey Sager strikes out. Ah, oh, the top of our order. And it brings Castellanus in. He's 0-for-2. Come on, mate. Make me not regret picking you. He pops it up. That ends the fifth. And we'll start the top of the six with Judge and 
Alonso strikeouts, no doubt. All right, Fisher will come in to face Snell. He's 0 for 1 today, an 0 2 pitch. Another strikeout for Snell. Eight of them. Eight of them through four and a third. Fletcher now, who's 0 for 1. A 1 2 pitch. Oh, we all dream of a team of Blakey Snells. It's, uh, it's uh, Inglacius in now. He's 0 for 1. Can Snell strike out the side again? No, he cannot, but it's popped up. Alonso makes the play at first, and that ends the fifth, and it's still 5, sorry, 4-1 to our American hero, New York Yankees. Judge, who's 0 for 2, comes in. He's not going to strike out. I tell you what, he's got a hold of that, and Aaron Judge starts off the innings with a solo home run. 431 feet. It is now 5-1 to the Yankees. And my boy Blue will come in and hopefully not strike out. A 1-0 pitch to him. And Blue, has Blue gone back to back? He has, and it is 6-1 to the Yankees. And the bats have finally shown up in this postseason. Back-to-back -back home runs. A first home run, I think, on the channel for Peter Alonso. About time he started doing that. And it brings Aaron Hicks in for his first at bat of the postseason. And Aaron Hicks gets himself a hit. A single for Hicks. And, well, maybe he's the man that comes in to be designated hitter. Stanton now, who is one for one with two RBIs. He strikes out. That's one away. Alamas now, who's one for two with an RBI. He pops it up. And that'll be two away. And the catcher, Knapp, has not done too much with the bat this series. So only three for 15. And that will continue as uh, he ends the innings. But two more runs. 6-1 now in this game five. Snell will face Marsh, who's 0 for 2. And is this going to be another strikeout for Snell? No, it's not. It's going to be a leadoff single. Which uh, isn't ideal. Trout comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. A first pitch swing. There goes the runner. Can Nap nail him? Oh, of course he can. Take him away, boys. The thief is caught. And that is one away now for Trout. A 2-2 two -two pitch. That is going to drop in, but get to the fence. It's at least a double for Trout. Can Judge keep it to that? No, he cannot. It's a decent effort to get him at third. But it's a one-out triple for Mike Trout. It is Mike Trout, isn't it? Yeah. And Rendon comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. A one, uh, an 0 one pitch, sorry. That's going to drive in a run. The out is made at first. Two away, but it's 6-2. Upton to the plate. He's 1 for 2 today. A 1-2 pitch. And Snell ends the six with a strikeout, his 10th of this outing. What a game five he's having. And the DJ will lead us off. He is two for three. A 0-1 pitch. And DJ pops it straight up. And that is one away. In comes Corey Sager. One for 18 now this postseason. Make that one for 19. Do we drop him? Assuming we get through this game, of course. Another new pitcher now, Ty Buttry, comes in. He's going to face Castellanus, who... Well, when Hicks comes in and gets a hit off his first at bat, Castellanus pops it up. You've got to say, I don't know if he's going to be designated hitter if we were to get into the championship series either. But we stretch 6-2 up. Snell will continue to Walsh. I will just quickly remind you, down in the top of the description is the link to vote for your player of the season this year. As Snell gets an 11th strikeout, he is one of the players you can vote for. And if you haven't voted yet, Snell just might be uh, working his way into your consideration there. But that is now 6-3. to three. As Stassi sends it 402 feet over the left field fence. And um, yeah, I mean, they're staying in this game, which is slightly annoying, isn't it? In comes Fisher now, a 1-2 pitch on him. And Fisher has popped it up. Hicks is out there. He's not the best defensively, but I think I could catch that. So that's two away for Fletcher, who's 0 for 2. A first pitch swing. And Fletcher has made it 6 to 4. <laughs> 405 feet. It's almost gone to the exact same fan out there, hasn't it? Snell gets taken over left field twice. That'll end his outing. And in the end, it's a bit of a disappointing one, isn't it, in terms of runs? Chad Green will come in to pitch. His ERA this postseason is 3.86. Two out, no one on. First pitch swing from Inglacius. He pops it up. Hicks is out there, makes the catch. And suddenly we go into the eighth and our lead is only two. 
Aaron Judge will lead us off. Hit a home run last time up, a 2-1. And Judge grounds it to shortstop. And that's one away. Peter Alonso comes in now. He hit a home run last time up. He's going to strike out this time, though. A 1-2 pitch. No, he's not. He's going to pop it up, though. And that is two away. And it brings in Hicks. One for one. Can he go two for two? I don't think you need to swing at that one, mate. You probably should have been ducking out of the way of it, to be honest. And that's a pop-up. That ends the top of the eighth. And Chad Green will face Marsh. It's one for three. He is today. And that is popped up. That is out. And we are five outs away from the championship series with two runs to play with. Mike Trout comes in one for three. He's going to face Green. An 0-1 pitch. And that is going to get through. And that is going to bring tying run to the plate in the shape of Rendon, who is 0-3 for 3 today. It's another first pitch swing. It's a double play. There's one. There's two. And we get out of that. We go to the ninth with two runs lead. Stanton will face another Inglesias on the mound. Can Stanton do something for us? He's one for two today. A 2-2 two -two pitch. Come on, John Carlo. No, he watches it, and that ends his at bat. Alamas, who is one for three, comes in. A full count on him. Can he get himself on base? No, he cannot. And it is Knapp, who is 0 for 3 today. A first pitch swing from the catcher. He grounds at the third. And Kasowski, I'm assuming, will come out and try and send us into the championship series. Upton is first man up. He is 1 for 3 today. A 2 2 pitch. Come on, Marshall. One away. We know Kasowski. He's all strikeouts and walks. Walsh with a 2 2 pitch. Kasowski with another strikeout. They're down to their final out. It's Stasi. Hit a home run last time up, of course. It's a 1-2 pitch. Can Kasowski strike out the side to win the series? He didn't strike out the side, but Hicks is underneath it. Two hands, mate, and we are going into the ALCS. Go on, boys. Go on. Have some of that, Otani. Oh, there is nothing better for me than beating Otani. And it's Aaron Judge that wins the series MVP. Uh, maybe a little bit lucky there, to be honest. What was his numbers for the series? Uh, where are we here? Judge. Yeah, four home runs, six RBIs. Now I'm going to say you earned that. That's probably well deserved. <laughs> Stanton, two hits, seven RBIs. I mean, he was efficient, if nothing else. Um, but there we go. We have got through. And if we skip ahead here a day, it is the White Sox in the next round. Now, more good news that we have is if we go and have a look at our uh, injured list here, the Cannibal is back. So he that's that's a big pickup for us. Now we well obviously I think we we have to keep Kasowski in the lineup, don't we? He was very good. Uh so who is it that drops out? I'm looking down. Is it maybe is it maybe Jordan Hicks? He's a good young pitcher, but is it a little bit too soon for him just now? Or do we leave Hicks in and take out someone like we want left handed pitchers though, don't we? Do we take Seth Edledge out? Again, he's a good pitcher. Is it maybe a little bit too soon for him? If you have any thoughts on that, let me know what you think. Do we put maybe Kasowski down as a setup guy? Or do we take Chad Green out, who hasn't always looked the best? Yeah, I mean, the cannibal comes back in. There's there's no questioning that. It's it's who drops out to make space for him in the in the in the bullpen. And I'm thinking. Maybe it's Jordan Hicks. But anyway, guys, to say, if you do have any thoughts on that, let me know. If you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. If you're uh, new to the channel, of course, make sure you subscribe. And we'll be back next time for game one of the series against the White Sox. We'll be in Chicago. It will be, uh, who will be pitching for us? Probably, yeah, it will be Corey Kluber. And, um, well, we take one more step towards a World Series. Take care.